Hello, my creative friend, Olga Sabi here, and welcome to new fluid art tutorial. Today, I want to create a painting that will be full of various shades of violet and purple. I want to create multicolor violet dancing base, and on that base, I want to create a dancing flow. Yeah, a lot of dancing today. Oh my god, I should be doing more painting like this. This one really, really, really speaks to me. This is a yes from me. <laughs> a dancing flow with just white and gold. So very minimal color palette and I want to achieve something very elegant and graceful. So let's see how this one turns out and let's get started. Grace is a secret message today and the first color that I'm adding, and this is going to be the main color of my base, is Cobalt Violet. It's beautiful and it's not as dark. It doesn't dry fully, fully, uh, almost black. Because, for example, Blue Violet, which I'm going to add next, it dries almost black. This one actually re remains quite violet, even when dry. And for this Blue Violet, um, I added a little extra blue. So it's not just... Um, blue violet it has some phthalo blue and a dash of black so you can see it's significantly darker and it will help me add some uh, shades to my base and the next one here is oriental violet so this one has a more red undertone and it's a little lighter so creating quite a diversity of colors today and of course when I'm going to be blowing this out um, they will overmix even more creating even more different combinations okay this is plenty of paint and by the way I'm working on 12 by 24 inches panel today let's blow it out I'm making sure to touch up my uh, panel above the tape because under the tape I'm going to keep the clean wood edge but above the tape I want to have the color and this is looking very beautiful already I look at all the beautiful details and lacing and pops here and when I'm blowing out the base it might look random but I always plan out the layout of my dancing flow and when I do the blowout for the base I always I keep it sort of in the same direction that I have the layout for my dancing flow so that everything matches and flows together. And all the colors are mixed with my new recipe. Now let's get to the dancing flow. So I'm gonna add some white first. And this is just titanium white. And because I'm working with such a minimal palette today, white, I'm actually adding more. This is iridescent gold. I also have another gold here. This is iridescent precious gold. This gold is a little bit warmer. All right, let's make this flow dense. This is awesome. Oh my god, I should be doing more painting like this. This one really, really, really sticks to me. 
the fact that I blew the white over the gold into the violet, it, it makes it look like it's glowing from behind, especially because I'm looking against the light. For you guys, it might look a little different, but when it dry, of course, I will show you this magic. Look at this area. Oh my gosh. It is perfect. Absolutely perfect. Should I work and make it a little more rounded, I think, in this area? I really, really like this section here. I definitely don't want to change it at all. I very much like this part here, and this one is definitely very elegant and graceful. This one, I think I kind of overworked it. Like it's this little thing, just I don't, I don't feel it. I don't feel this energy. So I'll try to blow it off. This is a yes from me. <laughs> Now that this line sort of fades out, it's kind of cool. I'm digging this look. Now this section and this section and this section, they all match the energy because before this one was way too much. Now I love it. Before we're gonna see how this beauty dries, I think this part needs to go a little bit more like this. Okay, now I do like the balance. Okay, let's see how this beauty dries. <laughs> This piece is dry, it is absolutely beautiful, and something that's very special about it, because I was working on wood panel, now that it's dry, all these lines and all these cells, especially in the background, they actually have a little, like, very mild texture that you can see it, especially when you look against the light, you might not be able to see it right now, but I will show it to you at the end. And it definitely takes this piece to the whole another dimension, it's super cool. So, right now, I want to work on it a little more. So, I love how elegant and minimal at the same time this whole piece and the color palette is. But the center part, I'm still, I'm still not quite feeling it. The way that I did finger swipe, it adds some sort of structure. But I think I want to make some of these lines a little more gold. And especially this part, I want to make it a little more flowy and elegant. Because right now it's too bold. And it doesn't, it doesn't just flow with the rest of this piece. But yeah, let's get to it. I'm gonna do one step at a time with this one and let's see where it takes us. I'm using the same colors for my touch-up as I did for the painting itself. If there is ever something that you did with your touch-up and you don't like, easy peasy, just wipe it off right away with wet paper towel. So do not be intimidated by touching up your dry painting. You can always correct it if there's something, you know, imperfect.
this piece is dry and varnished and for this painting I have been working on a wood panel and I taped my sides to keep the clean wood edge so I'm removing the tape, revealing those sides and I think it looks especially amazing when the painting itself is pretty dark but also it is such a satisfying process as you can see and here is this beauty dry finished all done and by the way it's available for purchase on my website in case you're interested i have done quite a few touch-ups but just on this section so i made this line that i created with a finger swipe i made it more thin and elegant and just more seamless and i think it blends much nicer with the rest of the piece now because it connects all the flows the fusion of flows but at the same time it doesn't steal too much attention from all this beautiful clusters of cells and lacing. I especially love this part, I, you already know that. It makes perfect focal point right here, but with these lines your eyes really travel to all the beautiful sections in this painting. It looks very airy and light and it's really dancing and flowing. Ah, beautiful. I'm very happy with my outcome today. By the way, you can see that when the base is created with multiple colors that are close to each other, it creates so much depth and really takes it to the whole another dimension. I really like this section and how the background, it really flows with the actual flow. So everything is in perfect harmony together. Thank you so much for joining me today. Let me know how do you like the outcome? How do you like the final result after all the touch-ups and varnish? And remember, there are no mistakes in art, just happy little accidents. And each piece that you create is a reflection of you a snapshot of your journey at this particular moment. So don't be afraid to experiment, try new things, and let your creativity flow. Take care and create with passion. I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.